everybody, I'm Mithin and today in this PSA 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 10. So, in my channel, I aim to help you all master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 10, okay? So, this is question 10. So, this question is testing us on graph and percentages. So this question has three parts, part A, B, and C. So I'll be doing part A now and B and C later in this video. Okay, so let's read the question, okay? A company offer 80 printers at a 25% discount during a seven day sale. The line graph shows the number of printers left unsold at the end of the each day, at end of the each day. Okay. So that's the question. So for part A, on which day was the most number of printers sold? Okay, now that we have read the question, let's underline or highlight the key information. So a company offered 80 printers at a 25% discount during a 7-day sale. The line graph shows the number of printers left unsold at the end of each day. Okay, so on which day was the most number of printers sold? Okay, so this is the question. So now, we need to know how to read the graph, okay? So let's label the numbers. So 20 and 0, so there's 1 gap, 2 gap, 3 gap, 4 gap, 5 gap. So 20 divided by 5 is 4. So each line is 4, 8, 12, 16, okay? So each line is 4, okay? So, um, each line starts at 4, then it's just the 4 times table all the way up. So, now let's label it. Over here, it is 4. And then over here, it is 8, 12. So, 12. Then over here, it is just one space up. So, it is 16. Then over here, it is another space up. And over here, it's diagonal. And over here, it is straight to 20, right? So it's supposed to be 20. So 20. And over here, it is two spaces up. One, two. So two spaces, one and two over here. So 20, 22, no, 24, 28. So the answer is 28 over here. Next, it is one, one, two, three spaces. But, and it's also diagonal to 40. So the answer is 40 over here, and then you can go somewhere up 60, then it's one space up above 60, so it is 64, and this is at 80. So a misconception, a misconception, a misconception that everybody has is that each day there is 80, but that is not true, it's, it's only 80 at the start of the sale. The rest of the days are not 80. So this is wrong. All of these are wrong. That's not 80 on each day. Okay. There's some misconceptions. Okay. So this is how the graph looks like. Where after you label it. So let me erase these things. So it's a 4 times table, okay, you just don't need to understand that. So it is 4 on day 7. So start of the sale is 80, right? Then on day 1, there's 64 left. And on day 2, there's 40 left. And on day 3, there's 28 left. Okay. So 80, 64, 40, 28 left, 20 left, 16 left, 12 left, and 4 left on day 7. Okay, so on which day was the most printers sold? Okay, so in order to find the answer, right, you just need to find the steepest line. So the steepest line is from day 1 to day 2. So day 2 is the most number of printers sold. Okay, the steepest line. That, that means that it has sold more. When, it, when the line is more steeper, it means that the sale is more uh, lower it's a, it's a much more difference at a faster rate, okay? But when the lines are not as steep, right? 
it means that there's not many printers so so d2 is the answer okay so let's move on to part b so part b what percentage of 80 printers were sold in the first three days of the sale okay so we know the first part right so let's label them again four and then 8, 12, 16, 20, and then 20, 24, 28, 40, 64, and 80 here. Okay, so we have labeled them again, so it will be easier for us. So what percentage of the 80 printers? Okay, let's highlight the information, okay? So let's highlight the key information in the part B. So what percentage of the 80 printers were sold in the first three days of the sale? First three days of the sale. So day three, day two, and day one. What percentage of the 80 printers? Okay, so we should take 80 minus 28 because this, this is the progress, okay? We can't take 18 minus 64 minus 40 minus 28. We can't do that. We should only take the last day. We should minus the last day. Because this is the amount left after selling on day 1, day 2 and day 3. So we must minus 28. So 18 minus 28 equals, is equal to 52. So we should take 52 over 80 because out of 80 percent. 80 printers what percentage of the 80 printers so off means is over 80 then we times 100% in order to find the percentage which will give us 65% which is the answer for part B so I hope you understand the explanation for part B now let's move on to part C the last part okay so this is the question for part C okay uh, let, let's just label it first. So 4, 12, 16, 20, 20, 24, 64, and 80 here. Okay, so let's read the question. During the sale, the discounted price of the printers was 120. So the discounted price, so 25% discount, right? So the discounted price is $120. After the sale, the remaining printers were sold without the discount. So the remaining four over here were sold without the discount. What was the total amount of money collected from the print from selling all 80 printers? Okay, so let's highlight the key information. So the discounted price of the printers was 120 after the sale. So this is during the sale. And then after the sale, the remaining printers were sold without the discount. So what was the total amount of money collected from selling all 80 printers? Okay, so now that we have highlighted the key information, let's look at step 1. So the total number of printers sold during the sale is 80 minus 4. Because 4 is the remaining left on day 7. That means the sale already finished but there's 4 left. That is why we take... During the sale, it's only 80 minus 4, which is 76. So we know that during the sale, the discounted price was $120, right? So the amount of color money collected from the printers sold during the sale is, is equal to 76 times $120, which is equal to $9,120. Okay, so I hope you understand this. Next. The number of remaining printers sold without the discount is 4. See, we minus 4, but the sold without the discount is after the sale, which is 4. Over here, the day 7, 4. Okay? So basically, we need to find, since we know that 75% is 120, okay, so how do we get 75%? Because of this 25% discount, right, is basically 100% minus minus the 25 percent discount which is equal to 75 percent okay so this is how you get it so we should always find one unit like i said one unit is like one 
percent so you should always find one percent okay so we take $120 divided by 75 which is equal to $1.60 so like in units we should like in units we should find one unit right but now we find one percent but after finding one percent find 100 percent i'm telling you always find 100 percent but in some cases right when the question does not actually need to find 100 percent you do not need to find it but in most cases you do need to find 100 percent so 100 percent is equal to one dollar sixty cent times hundred dollars a hundred hundred percent times 100 which is equal to 160 dollars okay so this is 160 dollars over here 100 percent that means the four printers so without the discount each printer is 160 dollars so the price of a printer without discount is 160 dollars so that is just one printer okay so there's actually four printers so you should take four times 160 dollars which is 640 dollars okay so we should find the total amount of money collected from selling all the printers is basically adding this $920 and this $640 which will give us $9,760. This is the answer for part C. So I hope you understand my explanation for part C as well. So this is the solution for all the parts joined together in one screen okay so i hope you understand my explanation for question 10 and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye bye